my gosh, please. Please, please, please. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Stop. Wow. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Thank you. And good night. Yes, yes. This candle sold out in less than five minutes, but is it really that good? Well, I had some time to dive deep into this candle and experience all that it can give. So, of course, I'm going to tell you all about it. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. And this is the new, hard to get, soft life scent from Lord of Seraphine in collaboration with the one and only Sir Candle Man. If you're a home fragrance lover and spent any time on TikTok and Instagram, then I'm pretty sure you came across the face and voice of Cutsy, aka Sir Candle Man. He's an incredible luxury home fragrance curator. I would say we have very similar tastes when it comes to making sure our home is smelling as best as possible. We pretty much have the same thoughts on luxury candle brands and what scents are actually worth it or not. I was very excited when I seen the new collaboration between him and Lord of Seraphine because knowing Kudzi, I knew this was not going to be just another candle. It was going to be something special, something that reflects who he is as a person. I knew this was going to be a scent that stood out among the rest. And that it did because this candle sold out in less than five minutes. This candle is hot, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> but a huge congratulations to Sir Candleman and Lotus Seraphine on a very successful launch of Soft Life. I did get an invite to the launch celebration where this candle was gifted. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have been able to get my hands on this candle. I went to the site when it officially launched to buy one and that's when I seen it was sold out. It honestly made me happy seeing that because I love to see what happens when hard work and just being a good person pays off. I think the notoriety of candles and home fragrance in general is now growing at an exponential rate. In today's time, more and more people are starting to realize the experience a good home fragrance can provide. If anything, this launch has proved the popularity of candles and Sir Candle man. If you're interested in this candle, I believe you can pre-order it now because there'll be another batch actually shipping this month. I did pre-order a backup just to have another one on hand. Maybe I'll never burn it and keep it as a collector's piece. So what is Soft Life and why was this candle created? Well, Soft Life is based around this idea of giving you the constant reminder to love yourself and that you are beautiful, especially what we've all been through over the past couple of years. I think it's fair to say over the past couple of years, we've all been working a little harder than what we're used to. Whether that be adapting to a new environment like working from home or taking that necessary time to try to find out who you are as a person and figuring out those next steps in your life. I can admit, I'm a little hard on myself and when I'm not able to do something to perfection, it gets a little frustrating. With Sir Candle Man, he dealt with burnout from working too hard, so he had to take a step back and prioritize what mattered most in his life. Only after that, he began to feel happiness again and learned that success in life comes from loving yourself to the fullest every day and just being more gentle with yourself. Friendly reminder, that's the meaning behind this new scent and his definition of soft life. I think this candle is a beautiful representation of who he is as a person. He's a great person that lives authentically and you can definitely see it and smell it with this collaboration. The artwork design of the packaging and vessel is actually done by a South African artist. Not sure of the exact artist though. The little personalized touch you see on the lid was done at the launch event. Of course I had to give my nickname Dream. But the thing that stood out to me when I first seen this candle in person was the actual pattern and how perfect the coloring was. The acacia leaf you see in the design represents his love for his African upbringing. The stone fruit represents him embracing freedom and his sexuality. And finally, the zebra represents him believing in himself again and his authentic creativity. This is a very special achievement and I'm glad I get to experience this scent because it's quite good. If you're someone who likes a soft, warm, gourmand type of scent, you'll enjoy this. It has juicy, edible top notes of citrus, plum, and fig, blended with a warm base of patchouli, cedarwood, vanilla, and amber. I feel gourmand candles were very popular this year, especially the fruit-focused gourmand candles. Maybe it was just the candles I encountered. I did say I was going to try more gourmand candles this year, so maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. I have to say, this has to be one of the best gourmand scents of the year. From the top notes, you would think this is a overpowering fruity scent because of the fig and plum, but I find them to be very soft notes. Now, don't get me wrong, they're there. You can definitely smell them, but they contrast very well with the base notes. The warmth of this scent comes from the base notes, especially with that amber mixed in here. 
I have to say, amber is one of my favorite notes for its warm, almost sensual smell. Vanilla is also blended in to keep the scent sweet, warm, and almost creamy. Not overdone in any way, just enough to keep the scent well-rounded. Keep in mind, this is a Lotus Seraphine scent. You get a great luxury scent, but I did notice that all of their candles has a nice smooth undertone to them. I really enjoy their candles and Soft Life is no different. Both masculine and feminine scent lovers will enjoy this candle. The Plum and Fig does give this a more feminine touch, but the warm embrace of the base will appeal to the people who enjoy more masculine scents. If I were to describe this scent, I would describe it as a warm summer morning with an amazing view of the sunrise from your window. Or I can see this burning in the background while you're having a nice breakfast on a warm Sunday morning and you're smiling because Monday is a holiday and you won't have to go into work. That has to be one of the best feelings. The meaning of soft life. Now, I would say the performance is on par with what you typically find with Lord of Seraphine candles. The cold throw is on the moderate side. You will pick up something if you're close to it. Mostly the top notes of plum and fig is what I usually get. On cold, this is a very alluring scent that unfolds into a warm gourmand when burning. The hot throw is also moderate, although at times it seems like it's leaning more towards the stronger side. I have an open concept, so the candles I burn have their work cut out for them when I'm testing them out. In a small to medium sized enclosed room like a bedroom, that's when you'll get the most out of this scent. This is typical performance for the medium sized Lotus Seraphine candles. The performance from their large size candles is better as you would assume. Unfortunately, the Soft Life candle only comes in a medium size, but that's perfectly fine for me. This candle is a great addition to the Lotus Seraphine lineup. It doesn't smell like anything else they offer. This is not just a scent with a collaboration slapped on a label. This is a careful curation of design and notes blended into a scent that took nine months to create and it's personal to Sir Candleman and his story. Let me know if you are lucky enough to pick up this candle before it's sold out and what's your thoughts on it or if you have one on pre-order. Definitely a great well-rounded candle that reminds you to always live your best soft life. Kudos to Sir Candleman and Lotus Seraphine for creating this amazing candle. Speaking of living your best self life, this past weekend I actually celebrated my birthday and it had to be one of the most memorable times of my life. My girlfriend actually surprised me with a trip to Vegas, but it's, it's not for gambling. I'm not much of a gambling man. It was for a Lamborghini actually. No, she didn't buy me a Lamborghini. I probably would have passed out. She took me to this place called Dream Racing. Lovely name. This is a place where you can drive supercars from Ferraris, McLarens to Lamborghinis. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, then you know my love for Lamborghini runs deep. When I'm not talking about candles, more than likely I'm talking about supercars, Lamborghini more specifically. This is my first time actually getting to drive one, and not only did I get to drive one, it was one of my favorite models, the Lamborghini Huracan Purple Monte. And I got to drive it on track. By far one of the best exhilarating experiences I've ever experienced. Everything about this car just confirmed. Yes, I will indeed have one. Firstly, it's the design standpoint of this car. It's literally a work of art on wheels. And hearing that naturally aspirated V10 behind my ear was an amazing symphony. I'm still smiling from it. Lamborghini has one of the best sounding naturally aspirated V10s I've ever heard in my life. Feeling it gave me was like nothing I've ever felt before. Simply amazing. One of the most memorable experiences yet.